Welcome back to Andrew Jean Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you how to easily and quickly install some sole shoe inserts. We have the Dr. Scholl's brand here. I just picked these up at Walmart. It was probably, I don't know, about three bucks or so. My son, my little son loves shoes, so he came in and took out one of the insoles that my <laughs> husband had bought these shoes for me and we cannot find it. It is completely hidden around our house, so I need these shoes. I am very pregnant right now. And you know, your feet get tired and sore. So we're just gonna need the insoles. Again, I got this at Walmart and a pair of scissors. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. I upload every single week all things cleaning and organizing to make your life easier and better. I'm actually gonna turn it over to my husband right now. This will be the first time he's ever been in one of my cleaning and organizing videos. And he's gonna show you how to install these very quickly. I'll just show you the packaging here. So this is for a woman's size five through 10, one pair trim to fit. When it came in the package, this particular one was like this. So it kind of looked like there was just one sole in here, but there's actually two that we pulled apart here. Cooling vents helps keep feet dry, molds to the unique shape of your foot. So this is what the packaging looks like in case you're interested in it, and it is quite soft. So what you'll notice here, at least for the Dr. Scholl's brand, it comes with an insert in which you can measure your shoe. Now these are an eight and a half. They are a little bit big for me, but you know, my husband got them for me and I'd rather have them too big than too small, especially being pregnant. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut out the little insert there that you can see. It's a, a piece of paper, sort of a shoe horn measurement type of thing. I don't know what you would call that and you're gonna cut it out based on your particular shoe size. Now, if you have a pair of shoes and you're not exactly sure what size shoe it is, I would suggest cutting out a little bit bigger because you can always readjust, as you see here, when you're putting it inside the shoe. You can see here on the tongue that it is size eight and a half, but I know if you have an older shoe or maybe a thrifted shoe, it might be worn down a little bit or maybe you can't remember, so cut it out just a little bit bigger if you do have that issue. You can see on these as well, there were not half sizes. So my husband just drew a line and he's laying it on the insole, measuring it up. Again, I would cut a little bit bigger than you may anticipate because you can always trim it down based upon how wide your foot is, your comfort level and what you prefer and how well it's gonna fit into that shoe. He just took a pen here and traced it around. I have pretty narrow feet. These shoes are a bit more, well, they're much wider than my actual foot, but that's okay. And this particular insole fit the width of my foot very nicely. And then he just took a pair of scissors if you have sharper scissors, that's better, but these scissors were pretty dull, but they did the trick. And you're just gonna cut around the tracing that you did. It kind of reminds me of arts and crafts when you were in elementary school. Now again, these were about three bucks. Um, I would say just under three bucks. So if you make any sort of major errors with that, um, just rest assured. Now again, it's gonna depend upon you know the quality of the insole that you got. Now I will say I wore these shoes after my husband installed them pretty much all day and they did not move around at all. They were super comfortable. I actually thought to myself, I should probably put these in all of my shoes. You can see here he is fitting it into the shoe and he's gonna play around with a little bit just to make sure it gets in there properly. He didn't glue it or peel anything. Because you fit it to the size of your shoe as best as you can, it should stay in place. I would say at this point go ahead and try on your shoe make sure it's comfortable before you move on to the second shoe grab your template there and you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna follow the exact same process again I had half size so you can just cut your template the piece of paper that comes with the insert to the half size that you need or maybe you're completely in between a half size and a whole size but overestimate so that you can trim down as needed 
Meanwhile, while my husband was doing this for me, I was wrangling my three kiddos out in the garage. So thank you, honey. <laughs> Nothing like some good old teamwork here. Also, if you're new here, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I have a ton of playlists in the description box as well. Pretty much anything cleaning and organizing related to help you get on to other things in your life so that you do not feel like you're spending your entire life cleaning and organizing, which I know can often happen. I try to find the easiest and best ways to get you moving on to other things. Also, hit me up on Instagram at Andrea Jean Co. I teach women how to turn their passions into profits, and this cleaning and organizing channel is one way that I do that. Now you can see here he is just trimming it up. If it's not perfect, that's okay. It's going inside your shoe anyway. If there's some rough edges, again, it's probably gonna depend upon the sharpness of your scissors. And these scissors are super dull. We use them in our kitchen pretty much for anything and everything. So you just took it out again, just making some final touches, final adjustments, and this foam was really nice for the price. Now the same process is going to apply for most inserts or heel supports that you use. You can see it's nice and flat in there. Here's a good close up. And again, it did not move around at all and it fit very, very nicely. Just making it all nice and pretty for me inside that shoe.